My name is Frank Abagnale Jr. My name is Frank Abagnale Jr. My name is Frank Abagnale Jr. I want to live, not just survive. I want to tell my story live and in living color. And it's brought to you by me. Yes, so live and living color to me. I think this is the perfect moment to bring out the third of our trio of great leading men. Uh, the gentleman who's going to take on the role of FBI agent Frank Hanratty. Please welcome Woo! Tony Award winning Broadway star Norbert Leo Bucks. a minute before you sing. Oh, I get to sit with the sit, sit, Exactly. Share a stool there. When did you become involved in this project? You're one of the newest arrivals, right? I am. Um, I became involved about a year ago now. I was in, in, in Los Angeles uh, working on a, a TV pilot, doing some flesh peddling, as we call it in our industry. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, Jack had sent the script, FedEx the script to me, and um, I'd seen the movie years ago, wasn't that familiar with it, uh, uh, and uh, I get the script. My father was uh, uh, in surgery, he was having a, a major surgery on, on an artery, and uh, it was a scary time for our family, and um, we're literally waiting to see him come out of this surgery. So, my father was on my mind. And I sit down and I read this script in a diner in West Los Angeles and begin to sob over my <laughs> omelet. Um, have to run out of the diner and walk around the block. And sobbing in my car, I called Jack back and said, I, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, that, that's a true story, I did. I called from my car and said, I don't care how it works out, but please. So that's how I got involved. So you and Jack and Jerry made incredible magic together in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. You won the Tony Award for that performance. I Can you believe that shit? What, what was it about that experience that created that kind of thing? And what is it about working with these two gentlemen that, that, that inspires you so? Well, a, a brilliant uh, source material, funny, funny, funny writers, and another dream cast. Um, I, I was telling Jack yesterday, yesterday or at his birthday party last week, um, I remember when Elaine Stritch accepted her Tony Award for um, At Liberty, and she had collaborated with George Wolf on that, and, uh, and she said, you know, if you don't have a director, it's not worth getting up in the morning. And, uh, <laughs> and, and with Jack, you not only get up in the morning, you, you eat your Wheaties, and you... <laughs> go to church and uh, <laughs> work out and then you come to rehearsal because it, it, uh, it matters, you know, it matters what we bring uh, to the performance. So the character in this play is sort of the polar opposite of the character that you played in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels where you were a con man, here you're the, the con man nemesis. Yes. Tell us a little bit about Hanratty, what makes him tick. We're going to hear you sing about it in just a second. Yeah, well this guy's interesting because, um, you know, so, so, so much of the, of the film and the, the play is based on this memoir. Um, Hanratty didn't really exist. He would have been caught by a whole team of, of these special agents. Um, and so the kind of surrogate parental figure that, that Tom Hanks uh, sort of does in the movie, and which is even, I think, um, highlighted even more in, in our play. Um, I, uh, I, I, I find that um, I, I, I find that relationship incredibly moving. Um, and um, set up the song that you're going to sing for us. This is a tune. Um, this is a tune where I sort of state my my mission in life um, mm -hmm. to catch these, these crooks um, takes place in the basement of a FBI office. I'm going to use my script, not because I don't have it 
not memorized. <laughs> <laughs> it is only the first day of rehearsal. Because, unlike Mr. Wokepat, if you enjoy that sort of brilliant kind of performance, I'm going to use my script. Because I'm an actor. <laughs> and I'm still mining the text. <laughs> and Mr. The subtleties. And Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. O'Brien is going to participate as well, is that correct? Never mind. <laughs> All right. Now this is what I like. Everybody's at work. Making America safe from paper hangers. Welcome to Carl Hanratty's personal salt mines. No shiny suits, no fancy cars, no open tabs at uptown bars. Don't press the flesh with movie stars, it's not my cup of tea. No charge accounts at fancy stores, my name won't open any doors. No day off since the Punic Wars, but that's all right with me. Cause here I am to save the day. You never know it from my goddamn pay. My name won't ring a bell to you. At least I know I'm good at what I do. If you're looking for car chases, big shootouts and women who look like Angie Dickinson, you're gonna be sadly disappointed. No penthouse view on ice cologne, no Playboy bunnies on my phone. With center folds, I'm home alone, just me, myself, and I. And then I wake and turn the lock, I hit the road and punch the clock. A mother sheep among the flock to lead the battle cry. Um, here I am to save the day. A burning itch that will not go away. To most I'm special agent who. But Jesus Christ, I'm good at what I do! And ready, don't you ever loosen up? Absolutely! Every time I cover one of these SOBs, I plots. Until then, I'm one tight asshole. Here in this mess.